As I walk towards the back of the barn, I notice a small room. I quickly glance around and see a small kerosene lamp and a sink. I check and there's enough fuel to illuminate the small room. I light the wick with my lighter. I let the sink run for a few minutes until the water runs clear. I never knew how thirsty a vato could get after getting blasted. Drinking the water gives me strength to hold on a little longer. I rip my shirt to clean my bullet wound as best as I can. It's not as bad as I thought, but I'm losing a lot of blood. I search the room and find a first aid kit with just enough bandages and gauze to hold back the bleeding. I sit on the old dusty couch and think of everything I've done in my life to build up to this point. I grab a new videotape and put it into the camcorder. I reach into the bag and find a fully charged battery. I want no interruptions while I tell my story. I take a long breath as I sit back and try to relax on the couch. I prop the machine on a small table facing me and push the record button. This vida is so crazy. I guess I could try to justify all my actions to you, but instead I'll let you be the judge of it all. Sometimes there is no right or wrong in esta vida. It all depends on the situation. Let me start from the beginning of my story, even though it's a beginning much like every Chicano I've known. Please be patient with me. I'm not a storyteller. I'm just a crazy vato doing what I can to survive. Let me introduce myself. I was born with the name Joaquin but the homeboys call me loco.